What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Conquistadors Let's Play. So yeah, it's been a little while since uh, we visited our lovely survival world, so sorry about that. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second actually, because there's been some stuff on the channel that I think a lot of people might find quite cool, so some people might have seen it, some people might have not. Um, but yeah, you join us back. Now what did we do last episode? Hmm. I remember we made this, so we made like a little uh, quartz tower type thing, and I just kind of slightly renovated it, so off screen I did a few bits some pieces, uh, harvested some stuff, I kind of basically made bookshelves, it wasn't very exciting, um, but I've done it now so it kind of has like a little enchanting room in it, it's not very neat and tidy, but the, the thing about it which I like is that it actually gives me kind of roughly about the right levels for what I'm kind of doing here, so I, I'm probably going to aim for something around the sort of 12, 13, 14 enchant, I do actually want to enchant a bow, mm hmm, hmm, Infinity would be good, but I don't know if we can get infinity with such a low number. A 14 would be nice. 12, 14, and power 2. Okay, fine. So we've got no levels, but yeah, we kind of got a slightly better enchanting setup, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I want to get some challenges done today, uh, because we're kind of coming through... Uh, we've not got that many left, really. We've done quite well, but one of them, just really straightforward, is to make a pumpkin farm. So let's just do a pumpkin farm here quickly whilst I tell you about uh, about some stuff. So, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all well and all that jazz. Uh, we've got Uno Pumpkin here. Are those pumpkin seeds? Yes, they are. So, I'm sure some of you will have noticed that on the channel I actually started a brand new series with some friends of mine, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's actually a Pixelmon series, which is something that's been suggested um, at so many damn times, which is which is really cool because like the thing is I've really wanted to do it And it's not like I've been ignoring people, but I wanted to kind of do it slightly differently So we've actually set up our own uh, it's a private server unfortunately at the moment So there may be you know if there's kind of like demand for it and stuff there may be some kind of sort of public ish um, mirror release where you can sort of uh, come and play it yourselves, but let's just do it here sort of close-ish to uh, to that one. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like uh, a private server at the moment. Let's just make an infinite water pool as well, because I'm kind of due one. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. So I'm playing with uh, Dan, the, the Diamond Minecart. I'm playing with uh, Jordan, Perpetual Jordan, and I'm playing with Justin, uh, or Think Noodles. And uh, yeah, it's pretty damn cool. So we've only put up like episode one to start off with because uh, what we thought we'd do is the thing is it's it's going to be like a, a mixture of co-op gameplay and then sort of single player gameplay which I think is kind of cool. Um, so a little bit like hmm, has anyone ever seen the Minecraft stuff uh, which like Ethos Lab and all those people do? So there's like a big element of um, yeah. Let me just stick these here. Like that. Uh, there's a big element of. Um, kind of single player type thing, but there is also sort of the um, the multiplayer side to it as well, where we're going to kind of meet up periodically and battle against each other and see how each other are doing and, and that kind of thing. There's also loads of gyms and it's like a custom built. Uh, it's actually custom built just for us, uh, so I don't think you're going to see that world anywhere else um, because it is like a custom island type thing. Uh, I thought I had some there now. So yeah, really, really cool. So it's only episode one up so far, so if you haven't um, checked that out so far, just go check it out. Tell me tell me what you think. Uh, it's kind of with the four guys, and I was really quiet in that video because uh, it's the first time that I've ever played on the server, um, and it's the first time that I've ever played Pixelmon, so I was kind of just trying to sort of listen and learn and that kind of thing from uh, Justin because he's been sort of more involved with setting it all up and that. Um, but yeah, very cool. I've got a Tepig because, of course, I had to take a pig, and I'm probably going to call it Ronald. Just saying. Just saying. So that should be pretty cool. I'm really excited. Uh, I think we're going to do a weekly thing. So I imagine we're going to put it all up sort of around Tuesdays. I think that's the plan. Uh, but it'll be cool and exciting to sort of get some collaboration stuff. Oh, God, it's the mythical dirt. Oh, I've got it. I thought it was one of those weird Minecraft glitches. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this. This is not exactly very amazing. But, yeah, make a pumpkin farm. Complete. <laughs> right. That's what. That's not really what I wanted to do in this episode, but I thought we'd just get a little challenge done quickly. Uh, so we're going to go to bed here. Um, but yeah, oh, as well as that, for any of you Pixelmon players, I think we've got, we're playing on Pixelmon 3.0, so I think it's like a pretty, pretty updated version. What kind of Pokemon do you think I should get for like my party? Because um, I'm like an old school Pokemon player. Uh, you know, I, I've been kind of like, oh, hang on, what do I want to do? I just want to harvest some of this quickly, actually. So, you know, I grew up in the... Uh, the red and blue generations, and then we had yellow, which was- Oh, Jesus, no! Oh, you sneaky sausage. I heard it. I didn't see it. The hell, where was that? Oh, God. 
God knows. Um, See, so yeah, I grew up in the, the, the red and the blue generation, and then we had... Oh, God, what did we have? Um... Oh, come on, James. Gold, yes, gold and... Uh, was it silver? I can't remember. Yeah, I had, I had gold, basically. And then I, there were, like, emerald and turquoise and magenta and rainbow and chocolate and cinnamon and God knows how many. And, uh, yeah, you know, so I, I'm not amazing at knowing all of the, the newest ones, but I'm pretty competent at knowing sort of all of the sort of slightly older ones and, and that kind of thing. So I want to kind of have, like, a mixture of both. Uh, but there is any is there any sort of Pokemon that you'd recommend catching in Pixelmon? Because at the beginning, uh, I've got a Tepig... And I kind of want to, I want to do it properly, so I want to have a really good party with sort of different elements and that kind of thing. And then I want to go and do some gym battles and, and maybe catch some legendaries, all that stuff. So, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think in regards to that. Now, what I'm actually planning on doing is we've got a challenge here, which is to actually build a hotel for survivors. Which sounds pretty fun, but I'm going to take some of this netherrack. Um, but yeah, we've, <laughs> I think we probably let them all die. Um, so hopefully... We're actually going to head back over to uh, that side. Remember where that, um, what's it again? That shipwreck was? And apparently, apparently, I read this in the comments section, that I thought we found the secret hidden treasure from that treasure map that we accidentally lost. Um, but apparently we didn't. So apparently Captain Flint's treasure and the hidden treasure are two different things. So, yeah, let me know if that's true. I, I have no reason to, like, doubt it, but... If that is the case, I'm going to go back to my old videos where I actually had the treasure map in my possession, take a screenshot, and then try and figure it out. I do vaguely remember it was kind of on like a quite a pointy area, and I, I would guess, an educated guess, that it was sort of around mm. where... Um, I'm going to get some of this beef, actually. Hello. Mm. Goodbye. I could do with that leather, actually. I could have done that leather a little bit ago for books. I managed to get some, but it was on, like, the other side, and it took quite a while. Oh, God, there's so many over here. Oh, why didn't I come over here before? Yeah, making those books were just... Oh, it's just... <laughs> it took so much time. And it's just like... Oh, I don't know. Making bookshelves is hard in Minecraft. Like, it's, it's not hard in terms of what you get, but in terms of, like, doing it and blah, 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 it takes some time, but... Got there in the end. I should really be breaking these with hands. Everyone will be like, yeah, it's the punching stuff with axes. I'm sorry. And as well as that, we've not found any redstone, which is absolutely insane. I think I might just have to go sort of random hole jumping to try and find some redstone because we need a piece of redstone to make a compass. And as of yet, we have no redstone, which is very disappointing. I haven't actually been in like this foliage yet. Um, I haven't been in here. Yeah, I do not know. I do not know. Um, but yeah, as well as that, I'm also trying to organize um, some more collaboration stuff with, with Dan, uh, the Diamond Minecart. Like, we, we played ages ago, um, and it was really, really fun. We did a season called Dead, Dead Prison, which was like a six-part series of us trying to escape this zombie-infested prison. Uh, really, really cool. So if you haven't checked that out, it's on my channel. Uh, it's on his as well. And, uh, yeah, really, really fun. So I'm trying to organize some stuff with, with him again. A lot of people ask me about that, uh, and I'm, tr I'm trying. But the dude is a, a really busy man, uh, but he's, he's, he's a good guy. So so hopefully we'll get some of that sorted, uh, which is pretty cool. That's something that I'm going to try and bring a little bit more of, and I think the Pixelmon is... Oh, for God's sake, I can't get up here. Oh, for God's sake, jump! There we go. Uh, the Pixelmon is kind of the start of a little bit more collaborative things with other sort of similar-minded YouTubers... And it's definitely something that I want to do more of um, as and when. But, you know, I checked this star, right? Um, oh, for, if, by the way, for anyone who's sort of new to my channel, um, and maybe this is like the first sort of episode type thing, which isn't like a mod spotlight or a song, uh, these sort of Let's Plays, and I, I've mentioned this quite a few times, but not sort of recently on, on one of these, but uh, these sort of Let's Play longer ones are sort of my excuse just to sort of talk and stuff and tell you what's going on. It's kind of like a vlog with gaming. Um, so, yeah, just to kind of let you know, uh, because I really enjoy these, like, an awful lot. Uh, it's always been something that I've done on my channel since, like, the beginning, since, like, the Yogbox Let's Plays and stuff, and, um, yeah, I just kind of enjoy it, because it's a nice, it's kind of a nice informal chat, and I do like to sort of, um, chat with you, basically, uh, all of you people in viewership land, hello there, this looks mighty suspicious. Yeah, the treasure map was, like, it, it looked, it looked similar to this, in that there was a point, and then there was another point, and... I'm guessing at some point somewhere we just literally have to dig down 
and we'll find it. Uh, if I find it right now, that would be amazing, but I don't think it's going to be here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it will be sort of somewhere, I guess, around here. It looks vaguely familiar in terms of what I remember the map to be like, but um, yeah, I don't know. Because we did find a buried treasure, which was over there, but it was just one of the Juan Carlos paintings. And I think we only did one of those, actually. One more to, to finish that challenge. Don't know where it is, though. going to be honest with you. No idea. Um, <laughs> so... I don't know. We, yeah, we need one more. So the challenges that we've got left uh, are kind of... We need to build a TNT cannon, which should be fun. Never built one before, so that should be pretty cool. I wonder if we've got any survivors left. Hmm. It's not looking too good so far. Oh, no, we've got him. I suppose I could make him a little house. He's a little tradey NPC. Uh, and I've forgotten his name, but I'll check it in a second. Uh, I've been here already. I'm just sort of double-checking to see if I haven't missed anything. Um... So yeah, this is like a little campfire. Who was this again? Uh, ah, it's Chris Tomcat. Hello, sir. He wants to trade bread for arrows, uh, which is decent. Uh, and fish, that's pretty good uh, as well. That's also not so good. Uh, um, but like, I, I kind of want my arrows, so no. Have I been down there? Uh, this looks cool. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think I've been down here. Is there anything? It could just be like an overgrown mess of stuff. Um, I don't know. It looks pretty cool, whatever it is. Is it just like a, a, a crevasse? I think it's just a crevasse. Yeah. A crevasse with some animals. I'll kill you for your meats. Your sweet, sweet meats. I'm not gonna kill you for your meats because you're fluffy. But I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Come on. Come on. Guess. There's a spider pig up there. <laughs> oh, you're such a little sausage. Alright, we're getting we're getting distracted. We're supposed to be building a um a thingamajig. A hotel. And yeah, I don't really know what exactly because if there's only one villager, let's be honest, it's not gonna have to be a very big hotel. Um, because yeah. Uh, they're probably all dead, to be honest with you. I think that was potentially one of the challenges that we should have done at the beginning. <sighs> but you live, you learn, don't you? You live, you learn. Apparently as well, there were some more iron blocks. I actually took the iron blocks out of this ship, and I took the lights out because I used them for the, the lighthouse that we renovated. Um, so let's see by any chance if there are any villagers left over. I highly doubt it. Yeah, they're probably all dead. I wonder... Ooh. Ooh! Underground cave. That's interesting. We should check that out. There's a shovel there. Um, yeah, there's no villager here. I'll get, he's, he's dead. You know, I, I try and be tactful about it, but to be honest, he's, he's a goner. So, yeah, my bad. My bad on that one. But should we check this out? I don't think I've been down here. I must have been down here. There's a... To oh! I haven't been down here. <gasps> These weren't placed by me. If I would have been down here, I would have hoped that I would have got this um, iron ore, and it doesn't seem like we have, so let's grab ourselves a our pickaxe. Oh, <gasps> it's a villager! Oh my god! Are these, are these like, the proper survivors? <gasps> oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh my god, look at these guys! Hello? How the hell are we going to get you? Should we make you an underground one? Should we make you an underground hotel? Oh, this is amazing. So they're not all dead. Oh, that's really cool. So I didn't accidentally slaughter them all. Um, man, that's expensive. Okay, so that's pretty good news, to be honest with you. That's, what's that? A written book. So there's, what, like five or six or seven or eight villages down here? Which is really good. There's no redstone, though, unfortunately. To, that I can see, anyway. So these guys must have just been... Do you think they were put down here? Or do you think they were just sort of, like, falling down with the current? Either way, it's pretty sweet. So I'm going to try and light this place up so nothing's going to follow me down. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them out of here, though. Should we build them an underground hotel? That might be quite fun, actually. Yeah, let's make them an underground hotel. All right. Um, I can hear zombies, though. Can you hear them? They're somewhere here. I 
maybe in this direction. Um, unless they're above us, but I don't think so. Hmm. See, I don't... I can't, like, hear... They're not that, like, obvious, so I'm wondering if there's another cave around here. And if so, does it have any goodies in it? That is the question. Hmm. Alright, so, yeah, what I'm going to do here quickly is I'm just going to kind of dig this out, which is just stone digging. I'm sure you've seen this a million times. And, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back when it's finished. We've had an accident. <laughs> we, we fell through the floor. Ah. Oh, Jesus, no, 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 no. Ah, you see, you see that hole there? I was literally just digging normally and I dug the wrong block and we fell into the ravine un underneath like where we were so I thought I'd record this because God knows what's going to happen. I don't know where this is um, and I don't know if we're even supposed to be down here but what my thought was is that there might be some redstone down here so I thought you know what I'll just slap on the old record. That was an enderman. Uh, yeah that was annoying. I thought I was going to die. I was really scared um, because I was just digging along, quite happily, quite merrily, and all of a sudden, boom, we end up down here. Um, so I thought I'd just investigate here. There might be nothing. There might be nothing here, to be honest. With you, it doesn't look like it too much. Ah, got the Enderman. This creepy noise. Hmm. So at least we found out where the all that noise was coming from. So it was actually down here. Uh, but unfortunately, there ain't nothing. There ain't nothing much. So. Yeah, let me show let me show you uh, what happened then. Um, that terrified me. That was that was kind of kind of crazy. So if we just tower our way back up to the top. Wouldn't it have been cool if I like stumbled across the treasure by complete accident? That would have been pretty awesome. There we, there we are. See, I was here and I was just digging this bit out, and yeah, mm, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna continue with this, and I'll meet you guys back here in a sec. Okay, the longer I stay down here, the more these guys are getting annoying. Ah, uh, <laughs> they won't shut up. <laughs> Every two seconds. But yeah, okay, so I'm just doing some bits and pieces. This isn't going to be anything special. I'm going to call it the Hard Rock Hotel. Do you get it? Yes, you do. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of rock down here, obviously. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just kind of make some pretty basic stuff, just because I need to get out of here as soon as possible, because it's driving me insane. Um, let's just go uh, like that. Um, let's go like that, let's go like that. That can be a door. Uh, put some glass across the front there. Uh, that can also be a door, it's not straight. Is that going to annoy me? Yes, it probably is. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, it needs to be central. So we put that there, we put that there. We Where's our axe? There we go. Oh god, we'd be quiet! <laughs> Drive me insane! Oh, uh, let's put some rock up there. Uh, that'll do. So I've been cooking some glass. Yes, there it is. Um, we get rid of one nether quartz. We don't need that. Uh, stick some glass in here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, alright. So now we just need a ceiling. Do you want a cobble ceiling? Where are you going to get one? So let's uh, cobble this up a little bit. Just to make it super safe for all you. Oops. Um. Dun, 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 I'm glad we got some survivors though. That's kind of cool. I thought though I genuinely thought they were all dead. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought they were all dead. So, oh, for God's sake. So that's quite jolly, nonetheless. Um, there we go. So we've got. It's not very. Uh, it's not very nice in here, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, what can we add to, to make it look cooler? We've got some doors. That's a start. So let's door it up. Um, plop. One door. And two doors. And no one's going to go in here now because I'm going to close it up. What's... How are you dying? What the hell? No! Are you serious? Are you... Oh, for God's sake. It's so hard to keep these guys alive because they keep getting stuck everywhere. It's such a pain. Get this doors, look! Ooh, it's your favourite. Look, stop drowning! <sighs> God's sake. Can't leave you any here. Why are you all going up to the... <sighs> you try and do something nice. Oh, I hear a door. I think one of them's opened it. Oh, God. Try and stop this water flow. There we go. 
so that's a bit better. Now let's try and get this easy so they can just come in like one go. Don't go in there. No, don't go in there. Let's level that out. Come on, get out. Get out. Oh, for God's sake. Come this way. This way. Go on. Where you go. Go on. Go on. Down that way. Go on. I know it's annoying, but... I'm going to block this off temporarily so they can't get through. Uh, you're in a hole and I can't get you out of it. No one gives... No one cares. Look, doors. You love doors. Ooh. You try and do something nice, and what do you get? <laughs> All right, so let's make um, let's make one last thing. Oh God, have we run out of stuff? Oh, we're one thing short. That's so annoying. Um, what could we do about that? We could go up to the top, or we could just rob a piece of wood from here. Mm. Let's just rob this corner piece. Um, Yoink. Oh, Jesus, no! Oh! <laughs> ah, for God's sake. No wonder I bricked that up. Oh, that was the same hole. This place is dangerous. This game of mine is dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous. Where's the hole now? Oh, for God's sake. That's my first tower, and this is my second one. Right, so let me get out of here. Let me get rid of that. I'll put down one of these just to make it look sort of vaguely similar. Oh, I can't be bothered getting my axe out. Break it, yes. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. And let's make a, a sign here. Uh, plop. There we go. And we're going to call it the... The Hard Rock Hotel. Ta-da! <laughs> so, okay, that is... Well, that's as good as it's going to get, to be honest with you. They can go in if they want when it's night time or whatever. I don't even know if they can tell if it's underground, but whatever. Yeah, they've got a hotel, so yeah, achievement complete. Great hotel for the survivors. So yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to be back very, very soon to do some more challenges. Uh, if there's any like little hints as to where I could find some redstone or if that treasure map is actually there, then please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, thank you once again for watching, guys. Please remember to leave a like. And yep, yeah, thanks. Um, see ya.